right. Shalom, shalom. Real well, Hebrew Israelites coming in week in, week out, prophesying the downfall of America and society. Starting off, I want to give all praise, all honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahushai Bahashem, Rahakodash. Yahweh is the truly powerful name of the world, agent calls God. Yahushai is the truly powerful name of the world, agent calls Jesus. All right. Bahashem in the name, Rahakodash, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. I want to get double honors to my elders and apostles who gave me a stone, rule, a teacher of me and greatest demonstration of brothers. And peace of blessings to the full lecture. Well, I'm part of that number. I'm the vertical dog from the G Brown Chicago. I'll come back with another video. And uh, this is a video. I mean, you know, I was reading Acts the second chapter yesterday, yesterday night, you know, and the spirit just got on me, you know, because, you know, it's talking about, you know, speaking in tongues, you know, and the spirit just got on me, you know, to make a video. So I wrote a, I typed it in my notes. You know, and I, uh, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, basically the, the point is speaking in tongues is not gibberish, okay? Now, let, let, at first, let's see let's see what Google thinks. Cause this, this should be funny. What is speaking in tongues? This should be, this should be funny. You know, this is complete folly and madness, man. All right, it says speaking in tongues, also known as whatever that shit is, is a practice in which people utter speech or speech like sound that some believe to be language unknown to the speaker, and which is going, which is going off, which is complete my folly and madness, man. All right, this is complete. This is what uh, Christianity teaches me, man. All right, speaking in tongues is preaching the gospel in different languages, man. All right. <laughs> Acts 2 and 4 And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost And began to speak with other tongues And as the Spirit gave them utterance Okay Now when this was, Now let's, let's prove it Verse 6 Now when this was noised abroad The multitude came together They were confounded Because that every man heard them speak in his own language I Meaning it was many You know many people from different nations over there You know Israelites from many nations You know was over there at that moment And they heard it all in their language man you know? Okay, they said, they were all amazed, Marvel saying one to another, Behold, all, not all these which speak Galileans. And now here we, every man in our own tongue, all right, wherein we were born. Parthians and Medes and Elamites, this was our people. You know, it wasn't to the whole world. You know, the gospel was not to the whole world, to our people dwelling in those areas that speak those languages. All right, for example, the Israelite in France that speak France, French, all right, or, or in Mexico, you know. Parthians or Emes and Elamites and dwellers in Mesopotamia and in Judea and in Cappadocia and Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia in Egypt and the parts of Libya around Cyrene and the strangers of Rome, Jews and proselytes, Cretes and Arabians, we do hear them speak in our tongues the wonderful works of the Most High Man. Now let's get that word tongue. It says Glossa, all right. It says, is it the language or dialect, okay, used by a particular people, distinct from that of other nations, you know, other languages, man, okay? It says, implica implication, a language, especially one na naturally unacquired tongue, you know? So, you know, it's, it's really talking about other languages, man, not you, you know, speaking gibberish and out of it. You know, all that, man, you know, and I, I just, you know, Spirit had me search this shit on YouTube, man. This is complete folly. You know, I'm going to play this video, man. You know, like, what the fuck is the bitch saying, man? You know, no, 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 you speak a gibberish, man. You know, you, you yourself don't even know what you're saying, man. All right. Okay, um. Verse 17, it shall come to pass in the last day, say, if the Most High, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and young men shall see dreams, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaiden, I will pour out those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy, man. Okay? Let's keep going down. Uh, 
no matter if I got the point of there, you know, now I'm gonna just put speak tongues. All right, Mark 16 and 17. And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name, shall they cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues, man. You know, different languages. All right, and you have brothers that, uh, you know, you got the brothers in Italy, you know, G GMS Italia, you know, they speak Italian. You got brothers, uh, you know, in, in, you know, different places. You got brothers that speak Spanish, French, you know, uh, um, Creole. All right, you got brothers that speak sign language. I mean, not speak, you know, sorry about that. But you got brothers that, that know sign language, man. They teach the truth in sign language, man. So it, it really ain't no excuse. Because the scriptures say the gospel shall uh, preach upon, uh, upon all, roughly paraphrase, uh, upon the whole earth. Then the end shall come, roughly paraphrase. All right? And, and we, we don't got to travel to different places just to prophesy. Why? Because the unicorn is doing the lifting, the internet. All right? That's what it's talking about, the unicorn. All right? Which the, which the internet. All right? Hey, hey, cause if the Lord wants you to receive it through the Spirit, hey, it could randomly just pop up on your YouTube timeline, you, you know, or it could be some other way that the Lord, you know, planned it to happen, okay? You know, but that was, you know, that was really the point, man. Um, when give all praise, honor, and glory, Lord, Lord willing, it was edifying. You know, when give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem. Oh, Salaki, Salaki, Salaki. Everything at a. Edification. Everything in edification, roughly paraphrasing. How is it, 1 Corinthians 14 and 26, how is it, brethren, when you come together, every one of you have a song, have a doctrine, have a tongue, have a revelation, have an interpretation. Let all things be done unto edifying, man. And that gibberish is not edifying, man. You know, you're not, you're not teaching them, you know, the proper way, you know, with, uh, you know, gibberish, you know. But uh, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to you. Shalom and the Baba Ball.